Hey, my babies, it's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. Give me some boop, 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 dap, because you're the dopest and we know this. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. Hey, my soul tribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, newbies, in-betweens, and my OGs. Brrr. Okay. Mwah. Much bandsauce to each and every one of you. Thank you for all of the love. Thank you for all the shares, the comments. Rocking with your girl always, okay? I love each and every one of you. And I am grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for all of the donations, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps me. It helps me support my two kings, okay? Um, one is 15 and one is four. Those are my two babies. Um, doing this and other projects that I have on the low low helps me support them. So I appreciate each and every one of you that donate, okay? That likes, that comments, that shares my videos, that rocks with me, okay? I even appreciate those that Say if the message does not resonate, but you still show love. Sending you much love, much healing, and much beautiful energy so that you can manifest your deepest desires, babies. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right? So we're just going to tap in and see what's going on, okay? I'm about to make that a theme question. Because that's what we're always tapping into. What's going on with you? What's going on, you know, with the person that you've come to this reading for? All right. So it may be about you. It may be about somebody else. It may be about y'all together. All right, my baby. So let's see what is going on. Okay. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. So we have, ooh, courthouse, justice. I'm hearing karma. But you're getting your karma, your good karma, your justice. Okay, someone could be going to court and you're going to win. Yep, is what I'm hearing. So someone could want to serve you papers or you could get papers in the mail to go to court. It could be regarding, you know, your child, your children. It could be regarding a business. You're going to win. So... I'm hearing lawyer up, but you're going to win. So don't worry. If you have a court date today, whenever you're peering into this reading, okay, don't worry. You're going to win. The outcome is in your favor, okay? I'm feeling like, you know, it's time for you to get your justice. Especially when it comes to your finances. What you have been trying to manifest is what I'm hearing. Yeah, let's see what else. What's going on, babies? What is going on? Yeah, you put a lot of hard work, okay, into a project, a business, and I'm also hearing yourself, okay? You've done a lot of that inner work, but you've done a lot of work on a business. For some of you, you graduated from school, and now you're about to enter the field that, you know, you're really passionate about, and you're going to get justice, don't stress. Don't worry, okay? I cannot make this up. Great fortune. You're going to get justice. Okay? So if you graduated and now you're entering a job that you are super nervous but you're excited about because this is what you've always wanted to do, it's going to work out for you, babe. Okay? So don't worry. And like I said, if you're going to court because someone's trying to sue you, or they're trying to get money out of you, it's not going to work. You're going to win, okay? You're going to leave out that court with the same amount of money you came in, okay? <laughs> You're not going to pay out anything. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, okay? Yeah, I feel like um, a masculine energy, okay? Man or woman. They might have wanted to take you to court for, you know, some form of assets, a house, a business y'all could have created together. I'm hearing children, child support, custody. Okay. The outcome is going to be in your favor. I'm hearing 
if you've gotten these papers in the mail or someone has served you or they will serve you today, whenever you peer into this reading, lawyer up because someone is trying to come for your, you know, fortune, your business, your home, your assets, everything, but they're not going to win. Okay. I'm also hearing, you know, someone tried their damnedest to take your destiny is what I'm hearing. Magic, manipulation. Okay, I'm hearing your destined partner and your destined fortune. It's all backfiring, is what I'm hearing, okay? Or it's going to backfire heavily. Heavily. Yeah. So you're getting your just due, boo. Okay, I'm hearing a long time coming. All right? What you've been praying for. I'm hearing all blockages are removed. You might feel a little cautious, but Spirit is saying, you know, celebrate. All blockages are removed. Can't make this up. Yeah. So let's see what's going on with this courthouse. What's going on with this courthouse? What is going on? Yeah, you're cleansing, you know, your energy of people, places, past. I'm hearing relationships, past jobs. Okay, past energy, but I'm hearing your energy is being cleansed, is being renewed. I'm hearing your angels are giving you a full blast surge of new positive energy to help you, to help remove those blockages. Okay, exactly. Copycat, right? Someone is mimicking everything you do. Yeah, to cleanse yourself, your energy of this copycat. Okay, that is now going through karma is what I'm hearing. But this copycat wants justice because they're delusional, to be honest with you, because they're copying off of everything that you're doing because they actually want to be you. They want your partner and they want your destiny. And this copycat did a lot. Manipulation. I'm hearing falsifying paperwork illegal actions towards you okay trying to take your destiny your gifts which is impossible okay this copycat you could have children with this copycat and they're trying to take you to court to take from you because they can't take <laughs> what is ordainedly gifted to you your finances your destiny your light, your spiritual ranking is what I'm hearing. Your luck, your magic, the miracles that God always allows to happen in your life. Yeah, they want all that, but they're being blocked. They're being cleansed out of your energy. Okay. I feel like this copycat, you know, they stagnated you in some form and fashion. Okay. Through spell work, through magic. Also, you know, they could have reported your business, reported you in some form and fashion to the police is what I'm hearing. And it's all backfiring because a lot of you guys have moved. You're moving into your dream home. You will be moving into your dream home. You will be moving where you want to move is what I'm hearing, is what I'm truly hearing. And by moving away from this copycat, you know, putting distance has really helped you, is what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, you didn't even know this copycat was literally right in your face. Until God helped you be removed from this copycat. It could be a friend. It could be someone that you were in a relationship with. It could be a co-worker. It could be a business partner. Okay, I'm hearing baby mom, baby dad. Someone that you were married to. But this copycat wanted what you're ordainedly being given this lifetime. And that's a lot of fortune, a lot of stability, a lot of abundance when it comes to finances, money. Okay? They will never be able to take your spiritual ranking nor your destiny. But people will try to siphon your energy, vampiric, incubus energies that are attached to humans, okay? That will try to suck you dry when it comes to your, your energy, right? Because you have to 
put out that energy consistently being positive, you know, doing good deeds, you know, staying in high vibrations, doing that shadow work, changing your perspective when it comes to money. You have to stay in that vibration in order to obtain that financial abundance. And I feel like, you know, this copycat energy wanted to drain, 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 drain you so you wouldn't be able to consistently vibrate at what you wanted at a high vibration. But little did this copycat know you're always in the frequency of love and that's the highest frequency of it all. But this copycat is getting karma, okay? Period. Yeah, you're leaving. You're about to leave. You're about to live in a completely new country or city or you already have moved to a completely new country or city. Putting distance between you and this copycat. This could be a, a mother figure, a father figure. This could be family. But distance needed to be had is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Great fortune. Great fortune. Yeah. Someone wanted to terminate what you do for work. Whether you're working a nine to five, okay, and you have a supervisor, managerial position, or you have your own business. This copycat wanted to end it. And now they're getting karma. Everything in their life is ending. I'm hearing this copycat was relentless. They didn't want to listen to the signs that God was giving them to stop. So everything in their life is going to shit. You're getting justice, good karmic justice, and they're getting bad karmic justice. It just is what it is. Yep. You're manifesting your ordained abundance. Okay. Okay. Whether someone left you this money or it is energetically being given to you. So you're going to win something, okay? Or you're going to be approved for a massive loan that's going to have low, um, a percentage that you have to pay back. Okay, I'm hearing equity. Equity, but you're going to have a massive loan that you're approved for. You're going to win a massive amount of money. And the interest rate is going to be low that you have to pay on. So you could have good credit as well. Because you pride yourself on making sure that you are responsible. So your credit is good. You know, your business is picking up. Okay. Everything is becoming back into balance is what I'm hearing. Because this copycat did everything in their power. I'm hearing in their little power. <laughs> <laughs> to try to stop you, but you can't stop destiny, baby. You're manifesting everything you want when it comes to financial abundance and stability. A house as well. Yup. And you're laughing. You're getting the last laugh. <laughs> yup. You're getting the last laugh. Spirit is saying, you know, don't worry. Don't stress, baby. All that spell work, all that, you know, whoo, hoogly boogly. Trying to ruin your reputation, gang stalking. That's over from this person. Okay? That's over. You're protected. You've always been protected. But I'm hearing the protection was Annie up because this person is relentless, whoever this copycat is. Let's say house, house, house. Let's see. Okay? Yeah. This copycat is very codependent. So they rely on other energies, okay? So they could have sex with a lot of people to rely on their energies. They rely on other people's money, resources. They don't want to go out and do it for themselves. They want to leech off of other people is what I'm hearing. Man or woman, okay? And, they, <laughs> and this man or woman, they wanted to leech off for of you. But Spirit was saying, hell no, okay? We have uh, Rihanna, Disturbia, absolutely. This person is very dark. With Disturbia, this person is disturbed. And this person wanted to be you, dress like you, act like you, you know, skin complexion like you, hair like you, figure like you. I mean, the way you talk, what you do for work, they wanted to mimic everything to the point where they were doing death spells so they could end you and step into your skin and step into your destiny. It don't work that way. 
okay? This person is very disturbed. But, like I said, Spirit Annie upped the protection, okay? Because this copycat, you know, they didn't think that you were actually going to transform. And now you're getting the last laugh. You have completely changed. And you're continuously changing. So this copycat can't keep up. And you're laughing every time you change, every time you switch up <laughs> your strategy, okay? You're laughing. Because I feel like intuitively, even if you don't know who this person is directly, intuitively, you know this person is still watching you. This person could be very sick. They're losing everything. I'm so serious. And if this copycat is taking you to court for your money or your house or your assets, they're being petty, they're not going to win, okay? Yup, they stress the hell out. So someone is at home stressed, crying, depressed, okay, and holding it all in. It's this copycat. While you out here getting the last laugh, peaceful, happy, traveling, enjoying your work, okay, getting promotions that was well-deserved in the past that this copycat blocked, okay, that business getting back on track and in balance. So now, you know, your revenue is coming back in. You're getting the last laugh, boo. You are ordained to sit pretty, okay? Or sit handsome. Whatever way you want to twist it and flip it. And this copycat, you know, was, was meant to, you know, throw you off course. Was meant to build your resilience, okay? It's more so the entities that, that are attached to these people, to be honest with you. Okay, the devil don't want to see you win. And they damn sure don't want to see you get true love. You know, the devil frowns upon marriages and true love and authentic, unconditional love between two souls. Okay? And the devil frowns upon, you know, those that are healers, that are in the healing field. And we're getting a lot of financial abundance off of helping others. Oh, they don't like that either. The devil don't like that either. So... What's up with this copycat? What's up with this copycat? What's up with this copycat? So this copycat, of course, is heartbroken. They're depressed. They're lonely. They're stressed. It's karma for trying to ruin you in some form and fashion, to try to cause you heartbreak, okay? This copycat could have even went as far to try to take your true love. But they damn sure did everything in their power to try to ruin your reputation and so that you won't get this great fortune. But her uh, destiny is destiny, baby. And because you fought back and you stood your own, you stood your ground, you don't play that shit. You know, destiny is still yours. Okay? This person is in great sorrow. They're grieving. They have health concerns. That's what I was heavily picking up. Like, they're going to go to the doctors and they're going to have a great health concern. I'm not going to lie. As I split the deck, we got the Eight of Swords. Yeah. And it's going to restrict them from doing a lot of things. A lot of things. Okay? All right. So, oh, we have three cards. So, this copycat knows. Look, we have the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. This copycat knows and has clarity that you are ordained for a lot of financial abundance. You are ordained to have true love and abundance. And to share that with someone that loves you regardless whether you have money or not. Someone that loves you for you. On top of the fact that you have healing gifts or you're a healer or you're in the healer field, whatever you do for work, even if you're a chef, you're healing people by food, right? If you're a cosmetologist, you're healing people's self-esteem by making them look good. If you're a singer, you're healing people through your music. If you're, you know, into divination and astrology and tarot, you're healing people by giving them hope inspiration, motivation, clarity, right? Whatever you do, it is very healing and you will obtain a lot of financial abundance in your 
I'm hearing foreseeable future. And this copycat is low-key stressed, okay? Because at the bottom of the Kipper deck, they're concerned, okay? Someone could be 23, 26, 20, or 33. They're concerned because they thought that they took this from you. They thought that you were stressed out. They thought wrong. <laughs> you are happy, okay, at the bottom of... The scoop deck, you are happy, okay? You are enjoying your true love or you're about to. Your business is picking up. You have gotten that approval for that loan, okay? Your boss has come to you and given you that promotion. Like, depressed where? Stressed where? You might have been in the past due to spell work, but that shit is done. All of that is backfiring, this copycat knows that you will be victorious, period. Doesn't matter what they try to throw at you. Doesn't matter they're flying monkeys they try to send to stalk you or to troll you, to report your business. It doesn't matter. You're ordained in the foreseeable future to win. And it's going to have this clown, this copycat in their feelings. They could already be in their feelings. They feeling trapped. <laughs> it's backfiring heavily, baby. And you're celebrating. As I am shuffling these cards and look at the bottom of the deck, you're celebrating. Like, boo. I have the love of my life that I'm building a legacy with. My business is doing amazing. I'm manifesting the house of my dreams, the life of my dreams that you tried to take from me Boo, I'm hearing thank you for the extra energy that was transmuted to help this. Thank you is what you're saying, collective. Okay, this is what you're saying energetically to whoever this copycat energy is. They know that all of what is perspiring in their life in regards to their life falling apart has everything to do with them fucking with you. Yep, you could be a tarot card reader. Remember I said divination? I'm also hearing, you know, this person gets a lot of tarot card readings on you, but they can't see anything anymore. You're blocked. Okay? We got, um, Dochi, what it is, a black boy. Okay? So, I feel like, you know, whoever your true love is, they're completely opposite of who you are. And this copycat could have wanted your true love, okay? And your true love is like, nah, I want you, collective. I want to build a life with you, okay? So, you know, your true love could be hood or they could be, I'm hearing a black boy. It could be a pharmacist, all right? They, I'm hearing get it with the best of them. They're a hustler because I'm hearing I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler, okay? Um, but I'm also hearing, you know, that this person get it out the mud. And this copycat was attracted to your person as well. So they tried to get rid of you so that they could pretty much sit in your place. That was never going to happen. <laughs> that was never going to happen. Whether, you know, you're dealing with a hustler, a street pharmacist, a block boy, or you're dealing with someone that works a nine to five, someone that's just... You know, street smart, but they working nine to five. They got a hustle on the side is what I'm hearing. Like the way your person walk, talk, move, strategize, it's real appealing. And, you know, it caught the eye of a copycat. Okay. That's for some. For others, it's just a, a friend, a coworker. Okay. Someone that saw that you are completely ordained for greatness and they wanted it for themselves. So they wanted to take it energetically. They even wanted to befriend you and kiki in your face and try to get in your energy to take it somehow, some way. In the past, this copycat was able to siphon off of your energy. Okay? Somehow, some way. And this stagnated you. But they thought that, oh yeah, ha, 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 ha. We got the collective. Nah. Nah. Whatever death spells they try to send to you, whatever they try to end when it comes to your career, your love life, 
you in general, yeah, that shit is all backfiring. I'm trying to tell you, this copycat is going to get hit or they're getting hit currently with some real tough karma, okay? And this could be their, you know, destiny, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <sighs> However, this copycat relates to you, right? Whether you know this copycat or not, you don't have to worry about this person no more. You really don't. So what, that's what Spirit is saying, okay? Now, this copycat could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Sag, Aries, Leo, okay? But whatever they thought they were stopping, yeah. Now, nah, you're their karma, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Let's see what's going on with this copycat real quick. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, this is someone from your past, someone you could have known when you were younger. Okay, or this happened in the past, the recent past. I'm hearing a year ago, all right, is when this person was doing all this hoogly boogly spell work or it started a year ago and this person is still doing it. For some, it started five years ago and they've been doing it for five years. And that's why you probably felt stagnated or stuck. That shit is done. Okay, completely done. Yes, we have the will of fortune in reverse. Exactly. Bad luck, upheaval, disorder. Yeah, like this person going through mad karma. And now they see the truth that they should have never fucked with you. Like, look, they trying to come in with the knight of swords. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Trying to hurry up and, you know, right their wrongs before they get mad karma. They're really already getting mad karma, but they're... They don't want more of it because they know what they sent to you over the years, months, or over a year period is what I'm hearing. Yeah. With the moon, they're trying to still keep you illusionized. They're trying to keep you dumb to the truth. Ace of Swords. They're trying to justify what they did before they... I'm trying to tell you. Before they, uh, let me show you the card, because <laughs> you two be drawn before they, um, <clears throat> that's why they're hurrying up, trying to come in and apologize. That's why they speed and like, oh, wait, 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 let me be honest. It's too late for all that. Yeah, it's too late. Because you already know the truth. You already know a lot of you who this is. And if you're not, it doesn't even matter because they're still going to get their karma. Because I'm hearing it was a lot of people involved. Okay, so some people want to come towards you. This person, this main person, they definitely want to apologize. They definitely want to right their wrongs. But they're still going to get karma because they wanted you dead. Like, are you kidding me? Copycat. Yes, this could be a woman. It's always, I did a reading. The other day, it's always a woman or a feminine man. And it's always over a man. You're masculine. You're king of pentacles, right? And that's, you know what's the crazy part is before this card even came out, Spirit was like, it's a woman. It's a feminine energy. And I was going to say it could be a friend. It could be, you know... Someone that is connected to your person, right? Someone that your person thought was a friend, but they they weren't a friend. A feminine energy. Now, if that's not the case, this is your friend that you don't talk to no more. That you don't associate with. Or you could still associate with this friend. Okay? This is someone that acts all kind and loving and I'm there for you and I'm understanding and, you know, it's okay. Okay? But this is also one... So also someone that's very psychic as well. So this person knew what they were doing. So this could also be someone that is gifted psychically or a priest is what I'm hearing. But collective, you're an empress, you're a high priest as well. But you're massively highly ranked above whoever this queen of cups is. And this Queen of Cups wanted your man, King of Pentacles. They wanted your life. <laughs> they, 
They wanted your lifestyle. They wanted your looks. I mean, and they were willing to do anything to get it. Ooh, we got, um, exactly. We got Maxwell on Ascension because you ascended, boo. And you helped your masculine, your king of pentacles ascend. And when your king of pentacles, you know, talked to whoever this queen of cups was, they got intrigued. Remember I said that in the beginning, the way they talk, the way they move, the way they strategize, but also how loyal some of your persons are dedicated, completely loyal to you. This queen of cups was hell bent on breaking that loyalty and they wound up costing their own destiny, their own future because your person still won't you. Okay. Now for some, you and your person could have been on a break. Y'all could have had a little tiff. And, you know, that's when here come this queen of cups. It's, it's, it's time for me to intervene, okay? And your person could have been eating up their words or their advice or whatever they were saying to stroke their ego. But they were never considering this queen of cups as a option of love. <laughs> they missed you. They wanted you back. Ah. Now, this is a friend. This friend was jealous. Jealous of your love life, of your career, of your looks, of the fact that you're excelling in life, the fact that you are godly favored, you're chosen. I mean, this friend, underhanded, hidden enemy is what I'm hearing. Okay, and they did magic to break you and your person up as well as stagnate your business. Gathering people around to talk about your business in a negative way, evil eye in your business, it's all backfiring. If this friend did any witchy shit to break you and your person up and to affect your finances, this friend is poor. They have nothing to their name. If they cast any type of spell to affect your well-being, your children, your spouse, your finances, your love life. It is backfiring so hard on this friend. They don't have nobody in their corner. They don't have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. Because they should have never tried to curse you. Curse your name or try to send. I'm hearing deities, Arishas that actually fuck with you. That actually, I'm hearing, look at you in a high light because of what you do for work, because of who you are. And because the intentions that you put out towards everyone is beautiful. And you mind your own damn business. Okay? Yes, you're moving forward with your boo. With the king of pentacles. And if you're single, this queen of cups was hell bent on keeping this king of pentacles from you, but they're still going to communicate the fuck <laughs> you're meant to be with this person. Okay. To build a legacy, 10 of pentacles to move, to move in with this person or to move with this person. Like, and people, especially this copycat, this woman wanted to cause conflict, wanted to compete. How do you compete when you don't compare? Because this king of pentacles never, saw this queen of cups as love. I'm hearing even if they slipped up and had sex, that's what it was, sex. Then the queen of cups, <laughs> codependent ass, remember we saw the codependency card. I'm in love. I want to be with you. What? You know, we just slipped up and mistakenly had sex. What the fuck you talking about is what I'm hearing from your person. So now, you know, this queen of cups wanted to compete. Mm -hmm. Wanted to throw you overboard and take your spot and try to take your destiny and gifts. <laughs> your ancestors was like, I think the fuck not blocked. I think not. Okay. Hell no. I... I, uh, so spirit, why are we talking about this queen of cups? 
I'm hearing because they still up to their fuckery and the only way that they're going to stop is if we look at the look at the screen y'all okay if we because you know a hard ass what's that called that a hard head make a soft ass yeah we're going to defeat this queen of cups because we're tired at this point that's what spirit is saying so this queen of cups is still up to their fuckery and spirit is like tired okay if this queen of cups is trying to message a person or trying to come back into your life, if they're your friend, you know, it's being blocked. Block them. Don't say anything, Spirit is saying. Keep moving, okay? We're in the present moment to the future. Keep moving, okay? With this submerged energy, you're going to be crying in happiness because you're going to get the dream house you always wanted. I'm hearing you and your person or you, if you're single, in the foreseeable future. Yeah, you're going to be able to travel for work if that's what you want to do, travel for work. You're going to be able to do everything you've always wanted to do. Your intentions was never to hurt anyone. You just wanted true love and to be successful in your purpose. And that's what you're going to be able to do plus more. Okay. And it's like this queen of cups. We have empire. What is love? It's like this queen of cups is like, what is love? How come no one loves me? How come I'm always, you know, being pretty much tossed to the side or thrown out like trash? And it's because of, you know, this Queen of Cups intentions, their codependency. They're too needy. They, you know, want to siphon off of everyone else instead of building something for themselves. This Queen of Cups think that they can take other people's man or woman. The fuck? Like, you can't do that shit. It's consequences and repercussions. Yeah, you're moving towards happiness. Quickly, too. Because I feel like this Queen of Cups... And, you know, uh, other people that were in collaboration or alliance was hell-bent on stopping you. And they can't stop you no more. I'm trying to tell you, like, the protection is forever going to stick for the rest of your life. Okay? Because you're leveling up in <laughs> new levels, new devils. So, you know, the protection is anteing up every time you accelerate to a new level, baby. Every time. Yeah, you're moving. Okay, you're out of here. You and your person or by yourself with the three of wands. You moved away from this, friend. You moved away from, you know, I'm hearing a city, a hometown also that's very toxic. So it could have had a lot of these copycats in this hometown in this city. A lot of crabs in the barrel. A lot of people that wanted to take from you when they found out what you're destined for. How much money you're making, how you're living out here. You were like, I'm out of here. You ain't your person or by yourself. Wherever you're about to move, you're going to find more so manifest that true love. Okay? If you're single, if you're in a relationship or you are committed or married, you're going to move away from this city with your person. And you're going to be much happier with the sun card. Can't make this up. Freedom, success, joy. Good luck, like, okay? I'm hearing your person wants babies with you, more babies, or babies, yeah. Everything that you have been wanting to manifest is coming in now because all of the blockages have been removed. And the fact that you never gave up, baby, you never gave up. Let's get some of my messages uh, we have Aaliyah try again on. Okay, that's <laughs> you pick yourself up and you try again. You are no quitter. Okay, you're not gonna let anyone take your true love, and you damn sure ain't gonna let no one take what you built when it comes to your own business or how hard you've worked, schooling and all, to get that position at that company. I be damn is what you saying. Okay, so you are a fighter. Love it. You are a fighter, okay? And I feel like whoever this copycat is, they didn't think you was going to fight. They definitely misconstrued your ass, boo. But this is one of the people that tried to stop you. It's like everybody is realizing that you are not to be fucked with. So what if you're kind and sweet and understanding and you're relatable? You're none to fuck with, period, okay? At the bottom of the deck, true love, marriage. Your person loves you. 
Okay, this is what you are coming into or you are already in. This correlates to the um, daily message. I only do them during the week, y'all. I'm sorry. I was trying to do them during the weekend, but I just don't have enough time. So let's get some more messages. Their ex is stalking you. Exactly. This queen of cups. Okay, like... But Queen of Cups can't do nothing. The evil eye, any black magic, that shit just gets literally tossed back onto her or him. A earth sign is a big ass hater, okay? So this Queen of Cups can have earth in their chart, all right? But you remember, you have other people that don't want you to reach this fortune. It doesn't matter what they don't want. You're going to get it anyway, okay? They are lying straight up. Is what spirit is saying. Who's lying? This queen of cups. Lying on your name. They're trying to lie to your person. Your person like, get the fuck out my face. I ain't trying to hear none of that. <laughs> or your person is not even hitting them up, talking to them. But they want to lie to your person because they're a hater. And they're stalking you. <laughs> and everything that you do. And they want to be you so they can get your person in your life. Never going to happen. Ever. Yes. A missed opportunity in love. And it will forever be a missed opportunity. Spirit is saying like, what the hell? A air sign is a big ass hater. Okay, so we have an earth sign and an air sign. That's hating on you big time. Oh, well, that's a them problem. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Look what flipped over, y'all. One, one, one. Okay, Spirit's like, make a wish. You're on the right path. You have a lot of new beginnings, opportunities. Okay, you have went through many awakenings and growth. And you and your twin flame, your higher level soulmate, that you love each other. You're mirroring each other. Okay, so let the motherfuckers hate. Your sexual energy saves me. Okay, feeling reborn. Okay, so your person feels like, you know, every time they have sex with you, every time they connect with you, like they grow, they heal. They don't grow and heal with whoever this toxic, codependent, negative, you know, needy ass Queen of Cups is. Because I don't feel like they're the Queen of Cups. I feel like that's a disguise. Okay, they're masking their real energy, which is toxic, is what I'm hearing. When I close my eyes, I dream of you, yeah. Whether you're with this person or not, okay? They feel like your sexual healing is amazing. They're making a wish to come towards you or to keep you. This is your true love. And you got their ex stalking you like a motherfucker because they really want this person to miss this opportunity with you. But it's going to be a forever missed opportunity for whoever this ex is because it's over. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay? It says, baby, you're amazing. I've been stalking you all the time. Do I have to lie? So you got your person stalking you and they ex, okay? Now, this person could have been married. That's who this, you know, Queen of Cups is, their ex spouse as far as marriage. But, you know, I'm hearing they're not married anymore for whoever resonates with that message. Because everybody's not married, okay? Some of you are actually with your high-level soulmate twin flame. You've reconnected or you're connected. Others, your person wants to come towards you. They're making a wish. All right. They are in the proceedings to getting a divorce. Okay. That's why that court card was right there. Okay. Let's get a couple more messages, babies. So we have, yeah, I want a family with you. And you got me going crazy because they can't stop thinking of you because they want to be with you. Look, when I split the deck, it says, I effed up bad. I'm sorry. Okay. And then the other card says, my baby mama or my ex-girlfriend doesn't want to let me go. Yeah, that's this queen of cups. Okay? The ex that's stalking you and don't want to let your person go. But you and your person is ordained, especially you. Good fortune, 222. Good finances and relationships. Okay? A reminder to continue to work hard towards your purpose, right? They try to set you up. This queen of cups. <laughs> Because this person want to be with you so bad. I can't make this up. Because you turn them on and you so damn sexy. They are so addicted to you, period. Yeah, they can't stop daydreaming about you. All right? This person can own a black car. Yeah, exactly. Right at the bottom of the deck, it says, I fantasize about, you know what I'm saying, you every day. I can't say it on YouTube. But uh, yeah, whoever this karmic is, they are going to get arrested. Yep. And that's what I'm saying. Now it's like, 
Okay. We have an earth sign hate you, but then it says a earth sign is in love with you. I feel like it's a love hate thing when it comes to an earth sign. Okay. I feel like an earth sign is in love with you. This could be your masculine, but I also feel like someone else could be an earth sign. So it could be two earth signs here. Okay. Your masculine could have earth in their chart. Okay. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And they're in love with you. But this girlfriend, ex of any sort, ex-lover, ex-girlfriend, whatever, they hate you because this person's in love with you. Yeah, your person don't want to play no games because you make them happy. And this karmic individual is big mad. Okay. Yeah, man. Somebody was creeping on the low is what I'm hearing, but nobody got no STDs, okay? Because I'm hearing it wasn't sexual. Maybe it was talking, flirting. Yep. Because they know that they're an emperor. They know that they're your emperor. So maybe they were just talking. Yeah, I'm watching you in tears. I'm so sorry. Now, for some, it's talking is what I'm hearing. For others, it was, you know... You know, doing the damn thing, but nobody got an STD. With well, STD alert in the uh, reverse, yep. Your empress friends is even falling in love with you. Their friends have fallen in love with you too. That's why this Queen of Cups hates you so much because everybody on your side. <laughs> yeah, it says I can't stop missing you. Everybody on your side. That's why. And I'm hearing if your emperor. It's getting a divorce, okay? If this message resonates, if you're in for getting a divorce and you're not talking to this person, they are willing to creep with you and it pisses this person off, whoever this baby mom is, this ex, this soon, you know, to be divorced, queen of cups, it pisses them off that your person, okay, wants to creep around with you, but they are still connected to this queen of cups, okay? But they're getting a divorce is what I'm hearing. And it pisses this queen of cups off. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yeah, like karmic contract, but it's a karmic contract, y'all. Yeah, because this queen of cups was doing the unthinkable. I can't make this up, but it's all backfiring. Uh, yeah, because they wanted to rob you. I'm I can't make this up. They wanted to set you up, boo, to take your spot. It ain't going to happen. It's all backfiring. Oh. And this Queen of Cups is going to lose everything. It just is what it is, baby. Um, real quick, let's get a message from Spirit about this situation. Okay. Let's get a message. <sighs> Leaping in love. Okay. So if you're already with this person, stay with this person. If this person is coming in and they are, you know, completely divorced, they've healed. Okay. And rid this queen of cups out of their energy. Leap. Okay. This is your person. All right. So don't worry. We're, we got you. <laughs> we got you. All right. We're not going to have you in a nasty knot. We're un. I'm hearing raveling the bullshit so that you can have four and seven, 11, a new beginning, okay? A spiritual high connected new beginning with the number seven, all right? Somebody here could be 47, okay? It could be whoever this queen of cups is, is what I'm hearing. They could be older than you. But yeah, you don't want to be in a nasty knot, so we're unraveling it for you so that, you know, you can, I'm hearing the heart wants what it wants, so you can... Follow your heart, and so can your person follow theirs. To stay together, to reconcile, or to come together, okay? But yeah, you're getting everything you want, baby. And this Queen of Cups is pissed. <laughs> it's a masculine that's pissed. I mean, uh, they could be pissed, okay? So that slipped out, but they're concerned with at the bottom of the deck. This, uh, so it could be a masculine and a feminine concerned, all right? Because both of them tried to keep you from true love and your abundance. But that is the reading, babies. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time, babies. Bye.